Kalimera Haravera. So, I've made myself a little nice cup of some Greek coffee and today we are going to take the last surrounding towns of Haravera and then we are going to take the main objective of the game. I'm taking every town around Haravera because um, I don't know how it's gonna be in the end game. I'm just gonna want to be prepared and um, I think if there's nuclear war and again, I would I would really need all the ships I can get um, since Haravera ships are much more um, scary and have much more missiles than normal, normal vanilla ships. So just, um, yeah, I just wanna be prepared for the end game. So I'm going to take all the surrounding towns of Haravera. Let's see, we can try out our new ship here in Romelia. Let's see how this ship performs in combat. Oh, oh fucking Vanellosus. Do I have a missile? No. Oh, I do, I do. Oh. And I know it. which one it was. It was the Altair, of course. Oh, damn. Well, whatever. Totally forgot you can actually use it in combat. Well, it's not a bad ship, but it could use some more 37mm fire. With one of these guns, you're not really well defended against missiles. And aircraft, of course. Okay. The Odysseus is... Uh Repaired, so we fly over to Kastrizak, fuel up, and then we'll go over to Artizelo. I'll use the stalk and the uh, this to fly to Kavak. Okay, apparently the convoy that is, has been in Kavak is moving to Haravera again. Oh, never mind, they're coming to us. Okay, um, we meet the convoy here. And now I will use the Republica to fly over to Zaravat. And they're leaving, so I'll detach the stock. Wow, very, very easy to kill escort. Yes, there's aircraft coming now from Zaravat, which is okay. Even I, I should just use some aircraft against them. Guys, could you be a little bit more effective? Maybe you could like get a better aim. That would also be great. Yeah. Great, that looks solid. God damn, that nearly killed my bridge. All right. Oh my God, it kinda looks like it. I mean, I don't know where exactly the bridge is, but that's usually the spot where the uh, Sevastopol bridge is, so... Oof! 
Okay, uh, the Odysseus is fully is fully fueled, so I'll go over to RT Zelo over here. Okay, I'll go on and fly to Kavak with my stock and ladders. And Kavak is empty. Um uh, Target down. Oh what the fuck? Oh no. I should have gotten to the um to the event thing sooner, to the event town. I totally forgot about it. Shit, dude. Oh my god, like, and now the timer went. I, I didn't even know it wasn't a timer. I thought I had all the time of my life. Uh, all the time I want. Oh my god, and now I missed the fight. Jesus Christ. And here we'll have a little fight with the Republica against... Against incoming cruise missiles from Haravera. Aircraft are incoming here. Well, what's to be expected? Don't kill me, please. God damn, we sustained some damage. So Zava is fully repaired, we'll overfly over to uh, Zoravak here and we'll have a little fight in Artizelo with our Odysseus. And I'm now entirely convinced that, I don't know, the ships we're encountering are still the same kind of ships like in the, from the beginning of the campaign. So. I'm not so sure if this entire game is not, uh, like, campaign is completely bugged, but, oh well, can't change it now, we're gonna finish it. Oh, I didn't forget I have missiles. So I will use the stalk and the Zilka, fully fuel them up and I'll fly over to Zelinum up there. And we'll have the fight with the Zava in Zorovac. And the garrisons even north of Haravera are still, I don't know, kind of the same level of some level of ships, it's not much gotten what much worse.
And that's a restart. Seven millimeter gun is enough to shoot down a missile. I mean, we know one is. But yeah, so much damage. Okay, I'll use these two Odysseus and Ajax to fly over to Agino Zelo. And here we'll have a little fight with the stock in Zelinum. Or we won't have a fight because the garrison is empty. Well. So I'll use the Eri and the Interpret to fly over to um, Zaravat because I want to put some other guns on the Interpret. So here we'll have a little fight in Agino Zelo. Even a silent strike. Oh, I still have a missile, nice. And we have a little event here in Aquino Zelo. Free scrap. The noble in this town owns a scrapyard and says he can give the sum uh, of his inventory. What a fool. Does he even know uh, for how much these would sell in Zahim? We definitely need a scrap metal for repairs right now. What about that tanker you have uh, sitting there? Hmm. I mean, we don't need scrap metal for repairs right now. But I don't know what these um, options will do. I mean, I can't imagine. What about that tanker you have sitting there? Oh, we will just get a Silka for free. Okay, that's good. So now I'll use the Stalk and the Silka to go over to Dorilaon. Let's see how hard this fight is. It's uh, After all, it's far above Haravera. I'll use the Ajax to fly over to Zamuba Barivka. And, and I'll use the Odysseus to go over to Grada, Gradak. The thing is, you can't really put other another, um, other guns on the interpit um, because they all need really much more ammo ammunition compartments. So I guess we'll just keep the 57 millimeter guns and uh, I fly down to Kara Ayas to take it with the interpit. And Dori Laon, the fleet HQ the, up here is empty. I will use the Zava, which is now repaired, to go over to Zav Zuvarat. And I will use the stalk and the Zerka to fly over to Duma. And here we will have the fight of the Ajax in Zamobor Barivka. Oh, oh yeah, the garrisons are getting quite a little bit harder. What's the sense track? Which is not so cool since we have this extreme missile carrier ship. Shouldn't forget, I have 
the last on this ship, I think. Oh no. about it. I guess that's a restart. Oh, these missiles of the missile carrier hitting the ground. And these flares are just killing me. Some damage. And we'll have a little fight in Kara Aias with the Interpret here. And luckily it's not too brutal of a garrison. really set on using Proxius. And using the gazillion missiles he has. She would just catch fire.
Okay, let's retreat and re-engage. Oh, I had no fuel anymore. <laughs> I didn't check it. Oh, okay. Wish we could kill this guy first, but I think to kill him first, I have to do something crazy like this. Goddamn wimple fights. And with the Zava we encounter an empty town again. Oh, we raised the alarm. We've risen the alarm. We're at the Republica station, so yeah, the firing missiles at us now. But Gradak, where we go with the Odysseus, is not empty. Let's have a fight with the Odysseus in Gradak. Should be doable. It's a silent strike, crazy. And Odysseus has such incredible firepower. And I was flying into the retreat by accident. Great playing by me. Kill these guys while they're on the ground, which is great. We can guide this missile into him, perfect. And this, this was much more smooth. And of course, there's any planes too, but after all, it's the Republica. So I will not worry so much. And the stock encounters an aircraft carrier group in Duma here. And I guess it's even a silent strike.
I will use a single T7 to check out if anyone is at Mana's tier. Then I will use the Stalk and the Zilka to fly over to Pedapolis. And Mana's tier is empty, so that means I will use my Ajax to fly over there to repair. And the Odysseus I will use to fly over to Vilak over there. And we're getting Astract again. Because apparently they still wanna kill us here. I'll just use some T7s to fight these guys. Well done. Okay, and here we are approaching Petapolis with our stalk. Let's do the right red thing and detach and there's aircraft coming from from below so I'll fly away with my Zilka. bigger problem uh, here is us getting, oh the aircraft are leaving, okay, us getting cruise missiles soon, but I mean we still have the sprints. Uh, no cruise missiles but 10 aircraft, which is pretty, pretty bad, it's pretty many. I'll try to take off, uh, it won't, it, I won't be able to do it in time. Let's just use our sprints a lot. missiles. Oh no, they're coming in for another run. Oh my god, please don't die, ship. Oh my god, look at our stock. It's so fucked up. Shit. Well, well. Um, if now, if there will be cruise missiles coming now, I'm having a problem. Luckily, we are in a repair town already. So, I guess I'll just um, pair here. And let's see, is anyone at home here? Yeah, we'll have a little disorized fight and we luck. And the cruise missiles are coming here. Well, it's actually good that they're going to my um, Odysseus and not to my stock right now. First, man, suddenly Zava. I have the, I have, a, I have a feeling like I'm playing. I, it's actually kind of bugged in a way that we're not playing a hard campaign. There's lots of sprints to Zara. Mm. Okay, we can't um, put out that fire, so it's time to let it fight again.
Man, the Zava is one tough ship to fight. Kinda lucky we didn't encounter more of these. One aircraft. Well, I think one aircraft I can handle. I would be surprised if they had more than one. Wait, he's still alive after all that? Oh no. Oh, he's burnt down right there. Oh no, more visual contact. Oh no, the aircraft carrier group is coming here. Oh, this is actually terrible. Why, the, why are they doing this? Shit, maybe I should leave. Problem is, I didn't fuel up because I'm a moron. So, I can't really go anywhere. And it seems like I also... I am actually a little bit slower than them. So, hmm. Question is what kind of aircraft carrier group they are. Three ships it is. Just give it to me. What the fuck is happening? They're flying somewhere else. What the fuck are they doing? I mean, thank you? I mean, yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot for leaving me here, uh, for not attacking me. I mean, I'm in pretty bad state right now. I really wouldn't like to fight you right now, so... Okay. Okay, now I will use the Ajax and the Zilka to fly over to Drus and maybe even go after the um, aircraft carrier group there. Oh. And they're replenishing the missiles. And maybe I should not camp in this town anymore. <laughs> it's really stupid of me. I mean, I also could have used the T7 right now. Maybe I should. But first off, I will take off and park somewhere else. A little bit outside of town, and the same thing I'll do here. And the sending aircraft. Seven aircraft. Okay, I'll meet them with AAMs. Nice, guys. Nice. And we are encountering a garrison here in Drus, so let's just fight it. Okay, I'll detach the Ajax actually. Not use my secondary fire. Only in the last moment against missiles. Maybe one, one single. Uh, 37 millimeter gun isn't that bad. I mean, I was actually pretty, was pretty solid in shooting down enemy missiles in combat. On the run, Afendi, bless the Almighty. We need your help. Um, the rebel captain has abandoned his men and now runs, a holding many of our wives captive. You must hurry. They have not gone far. The priest tells you that rebels were headed northwest, and then he blesses your ship and asks you to hurry. Dude, okay. Does this event spawn something new? That would be interesting to know. Too bad I seem to need to stay here for 10 hours for repairing, but... Do we get intel on this guy now? Oh. Ah yeah, Salamander. I guess it's him. Catch the Salamander. Let's just go there. Let's turn on the radar too, in case they... Wanna slip past us? Oh shit, maybe I should have fueled up more. Oh, I think I see him on the IRST. So now we have fuel again and let's fly to Duma. I think that's where, where we're going. And now I will use the Odysseus to take the last town, Saint Lynn. 
And then we got all towns of Haravera, except Haravera. Uh, all towns of Thrakia, I mean. And we're getting radar contact here, and we're getting attacked from the missile carrier group up there. And of course aircraft, but just one. Oh, wow, he's still alive. Man, that's a cheeky, cheeky little plane. Heh, got you. The remaining ships landed in the middle of a white field. Women, children pour out from the inside, thrilled that the nightmare's over. Uh, all the ship's spoils are yours. I didn't even do anything. I didn't even catch them. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. I needed that kindness after losing lots of kindness before. Yeah, there's aircraft coming from somewhere else. This is now getting really, really weird. We are having the Ajax fight here. Um, the thing we chased. Poor aircraft, poor single aircraft doesn't know where to go, and now we'll have the Odysseus fight in the last town that isn't Haravera. One ship, single Ajax, well, well. We finally made it and uh, I took every town around Haravera um, just as a precaution because as a wise man once said, I've not gotten this far to die now. Um, yeah, I kind of kind of want to win this even though um, I don't even know what's coming. Maybe there isn't even an endgame. But I am definitely prepared, I think. Prepared well enough. And yeah, let's see how hard the garrison in um, Haravera is. I'm going to take it with the Republica because it has been my best ship um, in the whole campaign. I definitely have um, less forces in the south um, than the north, but uh, since we can get um, new ships uh, in the end game anyway, and definitely we're we'll bringing in some Tarkins here too, um, so I think uh, it will be it will be fine. And I really think I do need all these ships because. I don't know what's coming and um, most of the ships that I have encountered in the towns where you can buy reinforcements were definitely not um, ships with which I can um, 
fight a nuclear war uh, really well. So I guess it will be um, once again uh, uh, there will be many many casualties and sacrifices to be made. There might even be a last um, cruiser there, but it really doesn't matter so much. Okay, I will just use some AAMs here. Well, if you're coming in from that angle, obviously you can't do anything. Let's try another T7. Maybe even. I don't know. It's too late. One sprint does the job, though. Which is not nice. Okay, the T7 with the AAM can attack the next incoming plane. Oh, it's 7, though. Okay, I'll use more aircraft. Why does it say no fuel? What the fuck happened? Um, what is happening? Okay, something bugged hard and suddenly my Republica cannot go anywhere anymore. I guess I'll just land for a second and then I'll try to check off again and that worked. Okay. Need some little bugs in the end game. Hmm. Okay, here we are. The Battle of Haravera. Ah, not so well defended, I'd say. Feel a little bit more here. Actually, be a good idea to kill the ground vehicles. If it's two of them, it's always very annoying. Oh, my God. Should really kill that rocket ship. My Republica is fucked up.
Also lost so many of my guns, I think. And I should dodge more, definitely. God damn, I have so little guns left. <laughs> But I think such a harsh fight is fitting for... Of course, maybe a restart would be a good thing to do. But I'm not gonna! I am not gonna, no matter how much crew dies. I'm surprised we still have crew on the ship. Oof! Quite a hard landing. It is done. The fleet of Thrax, led by his third son Terrace, has landed in Haravera. The whole town rejoices in the sight of Imperial troops marching through the city. They make promises of great feasts and games in our honor. Yet our journey is not uh, yet over. The only way to the monastery is by a treacherous gulf path, my prince. We'll have to march on foot. My son. It is not permitted for anyone uh, without the Emperor's blessing to enter the monastery. Remain in Haravera until my arrival. The time has come, lad. Lead the way. The telegraph says we're not allowed to go. We are going up there, lad. I'm saved. Disobedience to high command. Holy shit! Okay. That night, no one found sleep nor rest. Bearing torches and candles, one behind the other, they marched up the mountain, all the same, blind, one behind the other. Every step, a thousand kilometers, every stone, and fallen oak, a burning uh, metal tomb they left on a long journey here. Those who were healthy carried the injured. Those who had strength uh, aided those who had not. Those who were willing persuaded those who were not. In time, every soul that stood at the foot of the mountain, they took the stroll to the top. An endless stream of people, one behind the other, all the same, blind, one behind the other. Was this their will or something greater that moved each foot in front of the other? We are here. Afendi, we cannot go any further. We will wait for you here. The front face of the monastery is scarred with thousands uh, of bullet holes and the ancient stone slabs that uh, lead to the entrance are covered with black turned blood, decayed, most likely belonging to the attackers. The entrance itself is guarded by a giant metal gate as old as time. Who knocks our door? The one who's uh, one sent by the Emperor to relieve you of your struggles. The son of the Thrax, savior of the monastery. A poor soul in need of guidance. Hmm. I might even think about the third... Um, uh, the third uh, option here is... Um, something I could imagine to be uh, useful right now, but I'm going to just go with the first. We are glad to finally meet you, Prince Taras. All our prayers uh, were with you. For your endeavor we cannot thank you enough. But we have nothing to gift you, and neither can we feast uh, for your glory here, or cold forbids us these things. Cold be damned, uh, 40, uh, 40. Let the boy in, he deserves it. What are you doing here, Rado? Didn't your people throw you to the dogs already? Mind your manners, young man. This is the grandson of Suthis. Uh, there, this. And just like him, you owe him your life. Gra uh, grandson of Suthis, or there, this, or whatever. Yeah? Looks like he brought us back together for a final time, then, brother. I gave my word to him to keep watch of this place, and of you. At least you know how to keep the, uh, these things in line. We will let you in. We will show you the most sacred of our artifacts. Thank you, Father Foyti. Listen, Terras. I stood here, in this exact same spot, in this exact same situation 50 years ago. 
This must be destiny's doing. This story uh, should have made it circle. Yet deep down, something tells me this is not how things are supposed to be. Something is not right. He brought something here, you know. It came from the northern desert. This place is full of ancient things, and we thought adding uh, one more would be like throwing a pebble in the sea. He did give me a clue, though. What clue? Only one side contains the truth. After leading me through a maze of corridors, they hand me a small wooden object. This is just a depiction. This was made during the founding of the Empire. It depicts its founders in the meeting of peace in Salem. Jesus, that's Jesus. What about this? We do not know. This was made long before our time. Hmm. Why do you hide uh, this from the people? Because we cannot um, comprehend what it is meant to teach us. Okay, the other side we saw already. Thank you for showing me, Father. I will never forget this. Bless your heart for your troubles, my son. We hope you live long and prosper. What do you expect me to say, brothers and sisters? That I've seen the unbelievable, that I am now enlightened more than any man before me? Even if these words are true, it makes no difference. The fruits of your um, labor are all around you. The world and its time are finite, as are all things. And you have delayed the inevitable destruction. And though the war is not over, uh, know that the worst have come to pass. Is this not what we are fighting for? To go back to our families and live as we lived before? Arian seems to be in agreement with your speech. Thank the Lord, we have made it. You are right, my boy. Arian rejoices to the song of crickets and the rustling of the leaves. Friends, we are still alive and well. Epilogue. And so the secrets of the monastery remain there, hidden in wait until their time. The tide finally seemed to turn in favor of the Empire. Once the gathering's hold over the Exarchy was shattered, a devastating attack by the combined Imperial forces brought the fighting in that theater of war to a close. Once the last rebel stronghold in Garat was destroyed, the world would find its peaceful ways once more. Father Anastasius found he could not burden the difficulty of isolation any longer, not after the journey he had been through. Though Tyrus did offer him a role in the Thrax's court, he humbly turned it down to become a priest for one of the little villages dotting the mountains of Thracia. Sven, the mercenary working for the Wharf Masters, went east shortly after the expedition was over. Sometimes rumors about his exploits with the strange people that inhabit that area creep their way through the long merchant routes all the way back here. But those are just rumors. Even so, he would not be remembered for long after his time. The motives of the one named the Pale Death of Geralt remained a mystery to all involved. Though he proved himself an able ally to Thierry's cause, it is speculated that the aristocratic families had no interest in his rise to prominence. He was treated unjustly in the eyes of many as he was basically forced to return to the northern desert, where he and his followers lived in exile amongst the pirate clans. A bright future awaited Anton after the expedition. Who would have thought that the humble lieutenant, hailing from an impoverished peasant family, would one day become one of the leading military strategists in the whole world? Awards after decorations, honors after medals. By the time he reached 50 years of age, his uniform could no longer contain them all. And even though he technically did outrank Tyrus, he never stopped calling him his offendee. 
the Grand Master of the Seneschals was relieved to have accomplished Sayadi's bidding. If it was not for the fact that he was recalled back not a moment after the city was taken, we could say he slept peacefully from then on. He returned to the Imperial Academy to become its headmaster so that he could spread his knowledge onto the next generation of Tarkans. I believe he yet lives. It is not known how Bastakos initially fell out of the court's favor, but in supporting Tyrus, he did regain his lost stature. He was employed by Sayadi for much of his life, and is now remembered in the history books as an important character to the development of the new imperial legal code. One should not be surprised to learn that the old Voivod's time was almost over. Indeed, for after three days of rest in the city, he was found peacefully resting below the shade of an old olive tree. He was buried in the entrance of the ancient monastery in remembrance to the fulfillment of his oath. One can still go there and see for himself. As for our prince, he chose to live a simple life, away from the splendor and glamour of the royal courts. His last years were spent in isolation, living in a small cottage near the place he held dearest to his heart. And that is all about these people. This story is now over. But comes change, comes crisis, and the cruelness of the world. So comes the need. And when those times come, so shall our children, or their children once more, take flight to Hara Vera. Nice. Okay, I miscalculated. I thought there might be an end game, but I mean, I'm not. Um, at least I got more out of the game by taking every town. Yeah, nice. Peace forever. So, okay. Um, I'm really glad that I played this. It was lots of fun. Uh, even though, well, a bit anticlimactic. And I still think that it was... Um, like, I mean, of course, there were many bugs, um, as, you, as, you have, as you have seen. Um, and I think there might be some something back with the with my campaign. Like the end game garrisons were pretty um, not as um, scary as I would have uh, thought they would be. And uh, but I think maybe otherwise I wouldn't even have made it. So yeah, and I, I like I wanted to give not not make a review or anything. I like just some afterthoughts um, about the balancing of the game and everything. So it's definitely harder than normal um, high fleet in the sense that just everyone has missiles and aircraft um, the the thing is and this is like not a flaw of um, it's not really a flaw of the mod I guess it's just the flaw of the main game like it definitely gets harder by everyone having missiles and uh, aircraft um, but since since then you have to like you basically cannot take a town and raise an alarm without uh, being abstract. You basically have um, only one option to build every ship, like extremely armored, lots of sprints, lots of um, maybe T7s, to sh or um, also some um, anti-air armament. And it's, it's kind of like, um, I definitely like more, uh, like the predictability of vanilla more, 
where, where you know what you're getting into. If you get tactical group intel and uh, you know that there's a missile carrier group there, then you can like work around that and uh, anticipate that. And now you just have to anticipate it every time. But the thing is, uh, there's lots of things that are just hard coded into um, vanilla. So, I mean, I would like more of that predictability, but of course, it's also it's also boring. That's also um, I also know how, how to work around it. Um, as someone who plays had has played High Fleet a lot. Um, it's it's probably also way too easy to um, deal with that, but um, on the other hand, yeah, I mean, I would just like the difficulty to be uh, advanced in a different way, where the predictability or um, the I don't know where 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 you can where you can like work around threats and uh, know which threat um, to work with, and you have like a little bit more of a, even though I mean that sounds more easy. But but I think to just um, just to be asterisk by every single um, target on the map by by every single um, trader group by every single uh, garrison, just um, at some point it's just it just forces you to build one big ass cruiser with tons of sprints and uh, there's not so much tactical options anymore. You cannot I mean you cannot really fly around it. You cannot uh, really I, I mean there are I guess but you yeah I don't I don't know. Uh, strike groups you can bait, strike groups you can um, work around, strike groups you can um, you can shoot into their way if they haven't spotted you yet. Of course, but if everything else shoots at you like this, like um, traders are uh, much less pred uh, pred predictable. But of course, uh, as I said, it's like not really like a it's more like a vanilla problem, and I think most of these things you cannot really adjust with the with the modding uh, as it is right now. So the only really option to make the game harder is to um, make everyone have aircraft and missiles. And uh, yeah, but uh, I guess what I'm yeah, it just forces you to have the to have a certain type of ship every time, and some ships are just um, well. I mean, they are usable, but they will have to have um, escort ships with them that are totally anti-air um, focused. And there's not so much, I don't know, strategic, um, there's not so much strategic uh, variety anymore. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to, since I know what I'm getting into now, I think I might do another campaign playthrough of Havavera with my own ship uh, or ships. And um, just play it also much more faster. Maybe also cut the videos much more. And uh, yeah, because because now yeah you know you know um, now I know what's coming. Now obviously if I build a ship, I exactly know what I what I have to what I have to build. Something with sprints everywhere and uh, something with lots of T7s and something really expensive and also lots of anti-air fire. Uh, yeah. So that's also, I mean, always the biggest um, fun part about High Fleet for me uh, and always was to build these ships that are like min-max or uh, like really, really um, adjusted to the threats that are coming. And yeah, and thanks again, Shieldbearer, for the nice mod and for um, fixing my save files and everything. So what can I say? See you in the next campaign.